Good afternoon. My name is Mr. Storenzak and I'm the proud principal of Yardville Heights Elementary School. Today, I'll be reading The Pout Pout Fish and the Bully Bully Shark. The reason I chose this book is because my son Maddox just started kindergarten this year and I often read this book and other books to him to teach him that it's important to be kind to others. I hope you enjoy the story. Deep in the ocean, on a warm, gentle day, bubbled lots of lovely laughter and the sounds of happy play. Mr. Fish, his pals, and buddies were together at the park, having fun and feeling welcome, when along came a shark. The shark showed his teeth, and he growled as he swam. Move aside, micro fishies. It's my turn. Scram! Mr. Fish shrank back, and he felt very strange. The bright morning tilted, and the park began to change. The friends all around him seemed to shrink back too. Mr. Fish's face flattened. Oh, I don't know what to do. Shark acted badly. Being mean is wrong, but I'm just one fish. Am I really that strong? The water slowly calmed, and the friends found their way. Back to laughter-filled frolic in a cheery, cheery day. But the shark came round again, and he used a bad name. He shouted, get lost! I'm the boss of this game. Mr. Fish shrank back with his feelings in a lump. Fear grew inside him in a weird, heavy clump. The friends all around him seemed to shrink back too. Mr. Fish's face furrowed. Oh, I don't know what to do. Shark acted badly. Being mean is wrong. But I'm just one fish. Am I really that strong? The friends tried again to enjoy their favorite park, but the shadow of their worries made the day seem dark. The unmentioned tension grew when Shark reappeared. He stole a guppy's lunch. Fear the fin, he sneered. Mr. Fish shrank back, and his innards did a flop. His feelings tumbled jumbled. Would the awful ever stop? The friends all around him seemed to shrink back too. Mr. Fish's face fizzled. Oh, I don't know what to do. Shark acted badly. Being mean is wrong. But I'm just one fish. Am I really that strong? He turned to leave the park, feeling sad through and through. Then slowly came a thought. There was something he could do. Words can make a difference when things go wrong. Yes, I'm just one fish, but my voice is strong. Mr. Fish turned back and directly faced the shark. It was time to talk straight about what happened in the park. Mr. Shark, said Mr. Fish, you've broken up our fun. Bully isn't who you are, but it is what you have done. The things you did were mean, and that's not what we expect. So please leave until you're ready to treat us with respect. As Mr. Fish spoke up and his words rang out loud, the friends all around him formed an upstanding crowd. Together they were stronger. Now none of them were scared. They cared about each other and the ocean world they shared. Soon Mr. Fish was laughing and his friends were having fun, taking turns and using empathy, each and every one. The park filled again with joyful sounds of play, plus the confidence of knowing how to keep it that way. We are kind, we are fair, we are all potential friends. So we speak up when we need to. That's how bullying ends. I hope that you enjoyed hearing the story as much as I enjoyed reading it to you. And remember, when you're in school and out with your friends, be kind to one another and enjoy a great book.